Hey, what's up everybody? Good afternoon, good morning, good night. Welcome to today's video. So, for today, I told, I put up on Instagram last night that I had something coming. I showed turbo and intercooler piping and everything. Underneath that covering right there is a 2JZ GTE VVTI engine. I got to pull those stock twins off of there today and put a big single on there along with a cast manifold. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, the link is right here right now. Um, and the link is in the description. Go click on it and give me a follow and show some support. So this is the plan for everything right now. As I say, I had the engine and transmission right there. I have some other different stuff over here, okay? Um, it's raining right now, so the rain kind of messed up my day. Now take a look at it. So this is a 1998, I believe if I remember correctly, 98, 99, it's my cousin. We bought it some a year plus ago. Um, so now we're gonna put uh, that engine inside there. As you can see, some stuff was already taken out and so on. It's been park parked underneath the tree. We're gonna have to pressure wash this thing completely when we're done. Um, engine and transmission is coming out. I'm gonna be using this block to do my 1.5 JZ block. I think this block only has like 130 something thousand miles on there. Um, I'm gonna be changing up all these stuff right here and whatever. So don't even look at the condition of these. Um, the head, the throttle body, I have two throttle bodies. I'm gonna be selling them. Um, so hit me up if you need a throttle body. Um, apart from that, there's nothing else on this car that's gonna be sold. We're gonna do some upgrades on the brake and the suspension also. So stay tuned for the video and I hope you enjoy. We're about to tear this whole front of the car down right now. Um, that's, that's how I usually just do my stuff just like that. So enjoy the video. Say no so now that man, just video it. Just video it man, just video it, just video it, just video it. Just video it, no? Just video it. Yo, I'm playing over the supposed to play it. Pause it. Just video it man. Back up off of me. Too close, back up off of me, back up off of me. Too close, I know it too close. don't seem like it's about to start today um so so far here i am a couple of minutes um now i gotta go ahead and pull these turbos here off um pull them off and start prepping this whole area right here for the the, the single turbo but this rain don't want to give me a break man look at that this rain does not want to give me a break but anyways um that's where it is it's coming along quite nicely i mean if you know exactly what to do you won't have any problems you know um, taking stuff off 
But yeah, I'm gonna take these off, black up a couple areas and get it going. So as some of y'all might know, there's more than one way to pull these stock twins off. What I did was uh, pull it down to the bare bones just like this, okay? I have a couple little more stuff right here that I gotta pull off. Um, little coolant lines to the turbo, okay? All the oil lines have been taken off already. Oil lines, drain lines, all that stuff have been taken off. What I did was to pull the lesser bolts that's around the turbo, okay? Um, now I only have one more hole in the, hole on the turbos. But the funny thing about it, the manifold is still on the engine. So take a look at this. Let's say the manifold is still on the engine right now. Just gonna use my power tool, my impact driver, and just pull the rest of them off, okay? So these should just come right off right now, okay? So here we go, perfect. So let's say a little, little more vacuum lines on there, pretty easy. A um, little more vacuum lines on here to pull off. All right, here we go. This vacuum line is on. I mean, you could cut these vacuum lines because you're not gonna be using them no more, to be honest with you. Um, so you could basically just cut them off. Um, so I have one more 10 millimeter thing right here. Yo, let me tend it. See you, Jess. Take that one in there. See? Yeah, done. So, one more little 10 millimeter thing right here. There, that's off. And then one more line right here, and that's it. Um, and the turbos are off. So I was telling you, you could, you could pull these off right here and leave those um, those turbo, the, 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 tur the turbo manifold still on, okay? I'll show you what I do now with this. This is just easier this way, especially if you don't wanna get a lot of cuts on your hands. Um, good. Especially if you don't want to get a lot of cuts on your hand. So what I do now is I just use my impact driver um, come on here and finish pulling these ones off. So um, it's going to be one right here two three Four, five, six, okay, and one last one right here. Well, not two, more. and another one. Now, do keep in mind. Oh, I missed one. There's more than there's more than six of them on here. So that's a very easy way to do it right there. I should have, oh, huh, another one is hidden. Good. So there's more than six of them on here. So keep that in mind. And it should come right off now. So there you have it. Okay. There you have it right there. There you have it. All right. So what's ready to happen now? I'm going to take these gaskets off. I'm going to clean them up. Give them a little bit of wiping off. And I'm gonna start putting the next turbo manifold on here for the single turbo. As well as, um, probably when, when this goes inside the car, we'll give it a little bit of spray here because I don't have any spray here right now. And we're kind of like at, at a fight against time right now. And also the weather here in Miami. So yeah, I'm gonna be using back these stock gaskets that came with it. I'm not gonna be using the aftermarket one that came inside the, inside the, the manifold packaging. All right, so I'm back with you. As you can see, I took off the, the turbos, the twin turbos together, and the rest of the manifold right here. I uh, took off the engine mount so it could just be a little bit easier on me. Now I have this part here completely screwed on. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this over in some black paint, probably when it's in the car, some high temperature black paint when it's in the car. Um, these studs right here, I think I might have to cut these studs down a little bit. If I don't have to cut them, I'm not gonna cut them. I'm just gonna leave them just like that. But everything right here is on. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find that wastegate. I'm gonna put like a 10 PSI spring inside this wastegate. Um, it's a tile 44 millimeter, and then I'm gonna put it on here and then start doing these drain stuff bung one of these for the feed and make some stuff work you see the, the, the one for the back one right here what i love to use is this one on the 2jz engine to bung it up along with some good amount of thread tape and then use the front one to feed the turbo 
so yeah I have to also take off these these and bung them up and this bung this one off too and I'm gonna take the water neck off and pull these out and get them welded shut that means when the turbo is here and the air filter and the piping is there it doesn't touch on these and these doesn't look they, they, they don't look bad on there or I might just tap them and put something inside there I'm here putting on these um these drain stuff for the turbo um, a lot of people love to put these on and don't put no um, silicone on them I love to put silicone on them um, just give me a little bit more oh sorry about that just gives me a little bit more security that they're gonna be on there and don't leak and you know what happened I haven't put on one of these oil drain and stuff and they leak um, because I use the I use the the the, the 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 gasket that's there and also um i use the gaskets that's there and also the the the, the, the silicone i'm gonna tighten that down just a little bit more and then this one has to go inside here it's like this for my drain and then the one for my push lock is gonna go on here and then the hose goes on there but i'm missing one piece of this the short one so i'm gonna have to go get a piece right now thought I had it in the thing but I don't have it in there so I'm gonna have to go get it so me and my cousin here we're actually doing some work on it at the bottom of the car he's putting those um, those here right there for the drive shaft and I'm up here separating this part right here for the drive shaft also um, I already pulled the engine mounts that's up on the knee here I already pulled those on both sides I'm about to pull this little piece of shield thing right here because we don't really like that thing hold up perfect yeah so about to pull that little piece of shield thing right there because don't like that um, there's no exhaust on the bottom of the car. So what I think we're gonna do we're just gonna do a, a single exit exhaust um, So yeah, and then I'm gonna pull these for the transmission mount and also this one for the shifter lever And then we're gonna pull this whole engine and stuff out. We have a little bit of um, Grounding wires right here and the one for the fuel That goes up there to the fuel rail for, for from the back of the car So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one out also and then that should basically be it and getting ready to put this one in. My brother just came back. I was missing one of the fittings, so um, that's a little issue that we have. Um, other than that, everything was good. So I'm back with y'all. Um, I still gotta spray this area right here off with some with some high temperature um, black spray. And the rain kind of came down and drizzled on it a little bit. That's why it looks like that. But it's brand spanking new. You know, it's, it, it, it's doing the same thing like if you had a um, if you had a a, a, a brand new um, brake. You know, rotor in the rain catch it just a little bit. So this is what I do: oil feed, okay, oil feed right here, oil drain, okay. These manifolds are simple and easy to work with. Um, these stuff right here, just pick them up at AutoZone, um, use four of them, and so on. So far, I put a 10-pound spring inside this. I'm going to be using some boost also to help to open it up um, and control it from there. But um, everything, everything looks good. Um, went ahead and capped off some places like these places right here capped them off okay um and also right here okay the other the other oil feed right here is capped off also um everything looks good i'm just waiting to put the engine inside the car and take this one vacuum line right here off and run that to something else and i also have to put something inside here so i can run that to the wastegate over on this side um there's a boost reference area right here for the wastegate but I, I don't think i'm gonna use that i think i'm just gonna use one of these right here or one of these and put it on there um and i have a boost gauge i think i'm gonna connect it I'm just gonna use one of these for whatever i'm not really over complicating this um but everything looks good so far the water neck i could take the water neck off when the engine is inside the car um but everything right now is just plain and simple just love the way that feed and that drain is right now that's it and i also have the heat wrap on it and i'm going to pull a little bit more of this heat wrap up here or let it stay where it is don't really have to move it anyways yeah but that's that heat wrap for the hose that's inside um the hose that's inside is the hose like this okay that's inside there but everything looks really good right now hey so um the car well, the engine didn't have a single turbo on there today. There's a single turbo on there now. Oil feed, oil drain is on. Um, fuel line is connected and so on. I'm going to have to run the return. It's doing a little drop drop right there. Um, and I have to put the radiator in and everything in and get the exhaust pipe and done. But just to show you a little thing, the car starts. 
um, turn the ignition. It's not yet wired, so there's one or, one or two things that have to be repinned on there. Um, turn the ignition. All right, so just for reference, take a look at this. It starts. Don't, don't ask what I did. <laughs> As you can see everything works on there um, there's no master flow sensor on there yet there's no exhaust on there um, we're just gonna go ahead and put probably this radiator in right now and fill it up with some water um, and that's basically it but it starts up it works uh, just gotta get one or two thing repinned and then that's basically it uh, anyways stay tuned for more videos and enjoy if there's any questions, ask, let me know. Thank you all for watching.